Hello, super quick intro. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can solve the Hanayama ring puzzle, which means I'm going to give you the simplest to follow way of putting those four awkward ring pieces back together in that original ring position. Because I think taking it apart, you've got that covered. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so here is a fully assembled ring puzzle. Now obviously the challenge for this one isn't to take, to take it apart, you can do that easy, just grab a piece and shake it. But while it's in this position, we're just gonna have a look at what we are aiming for. So as we look at the back of the ring, we're aiming for the ultimate position to have two silver pieces on the outside, the two gold pieces on the inside. And we also need to distinguish between the two silver pieces, which we'll do more easily when it's separated, and the two gold pieces. Now the gold pieces, this piece we're going to describe as having its groove in the back. So this is going to be the front gold piece for us. And this piece is going to be the back gold piece because its groove, or it is sat at the back and its groove is in the front position here. So we need to take it apart first, so again nice and simple. And once we've got it apart, we're going to grab the two silver pieces and identify which one of these has the Hanayama engraving on. And I'm gonna take that in my left hand, in my left hand. So the Hanayama engraving is here. We're gonna start building from this piece. Next, we need to get the right gold piece. So if we flip them around so we can see the front of them, we need to now have the front gold piece on the right hand side and the back gold piece on the left hand side, which is what we have here. If you don't have that right now, all you need to do is grab one piece flip it over to the other side and it's as easy as that. Once you've got this orientation, we're gonna take the front gold piece and we're gonna lay it on top so that we are covering the Hanayama engraving. Now there's only two ways to lay this, so you can either come this way, which doesn't work, or this way, which does work. However, if it doesn't work this way, it's just because the other pieces are getting in the way. And to get them out of the way, all you need to do is just slide them to the front of those two pieces and you can then lay that first silver piece and the first gold piece flat down. Now they're not going to stay flat down because we, there's a move that we need to do next that requires separating them, but we're going to clamp down as much as we can in this position. And that's the real challenge of this, being able to hold two pieces together while you're moving one of the others and then holding three pieces together while you're moving the last piece. So the important move that we need to do now is regarding the two silver pieces. So at the minute, this silver piece is below this silver piece here. We need to change that. We need to get this silver piece over the top of there. And you can do this later on, but it's a little bit harder when you're holding three pieces together than when you're holding two together like we are now. But we do need to separate these two pieces from here. So we're gonna just lift those two pieces slightly to separate them. We're gonna lift the silver piece over the top and then we're gonna clamp back down on these two pieces here. So we shouldn't end up with something that looks like this now. And generally speaking, the silver piece is gonna end up on the right hand side as we're looking at it. The gold piece is gonna be on the left. Our next aim is to swap that over. So all we're gonna do is take the gold piece and pass it through the middle of the silver piece and into here. Next, we're gonna flip the gold piece over the top and semi put it together. It's never gonna it's never gonna sit down. So, I mean, even here is fine. But we just let it hang out there. And then with the silver piece, all we need to do is just flip it over the top. And then we can just give it a shake, align these grooves, and we have fully reassembled the ring puzzle. So there it is, that is the simplest way to reassemble the ring puzzle. Remember, as soon as you have done it, get those silver tires locked on so that it doesn't fall apart again. And the real key here for following that solution is getting each bit in the right position at the right time. So get the silver piece, make sure the gold pieces are on the right side. And then once you've got the silver piece over the top of the other silver piece, which is the hardest move, as soon as you've done that, you've pretty much done it and then take the gold piece through and flip those two pieces over the top. And it's as simple as that. Now hopefully this has helped you solve the ring puzzle for yourself. If you have any trouble at all, comment below and I will do my very best to help you where you need it. And if you wanna see me struggle through the ring puzzle or any of these other Hanayama puzzles for the first time, then be sure to click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.